Because we are not going to have a metricless councillor in 2024. The EFF leader Julius Malema have revealed a very big secret about the EFF public representative. Let's have a listen. Fighters who are going to elections next year. But let me tell you, I discovered that a lot of EFF public representatives have not heeded a call to get qualifications. They didn't go to school. As a result, we've taken a decision that all public representatives is closing on the 8th of February. Even those who gave apology, you must tell them. Rewrite of metric is closing on the 8th of February. All of them must go and re register to rewrite metric and must complete it by the end of this year. In January, in January, we are coming back to do an audit. The one with no metric will be released from his qualifications. That's number one. Number two, all those who have been in parliament and in the legislature expect a letter that is going to ask you, if you have a metric, what have you done since parliament to now to attain a tertiary qualification? And those of you who do not have tertiary qualification, 10 years after we preached education and said we make education fashionable, you sitting here on our tables laughing at us. You thinking we are talking to someone else, we are not talking to you. We are not going to be led by people who have not gone to school. Comrades, let me tell you, take to cancel people who have not gone to school who are worse than the ANC. This country, it is in this mess because the ANC took people who have not been to school into positions of power and as a result the illiterate could not see that the sewer system of Mangaung needs to be expanded. Even when they explained that to the illiterate he didn't hear anything. They were jumping on top of his head. We are in this mess because of illiteracy. When we started the EFF, I was happy to have you. Because maybe you didn't go to school. We were too poor at home. We didn't have money. But we took you into council. We took you into parliament. We took you into legislature. Made resources available for you to go to school, you still refused. And then you go around saying, we are better than the ANC. Apparently, it has been for some times now that the president of EFF, Julius Malema, had to tell, I mean, he had told uh, the EFF members, especially those who are, who are like councillors or even the public representative places he told them to go to school because he had realized that a lot of people they don't even have metric wow well what do you take from this video because it is very important guys i know this sound very embarrassing yes this sound very embarrassing for you to hear that a very big uh, political party in south africa as the eff have some uh, public representative who are not uh, who have not go to school and they don't have enough qualification for them to be sitting inside the office well this is something actually it's been i mean it has been going on for so many years yes starting with the anc you know eff leader julius malema himself he's been talking about this many times saying that if we are where we are today it's because the uh, anc they have failed they had decided to put wrong people at the right place and that makes I mean, that end up mixing everything around because imagine if you have to go and put someone 
who did not go to school and then you end up putting him as a mayor what good do you expect from him so the EFF leader apparently he had told all his uh, public representative that if you want to continue sitting in that position that you are having right now then you need to go back to school he spoke about it for some times myself i remember watching him in his different uh, events or eff meetings he repeated this many times saying that guys go back to school guys go back to school but this time it looked like some people in the EFF they were not listening to what you were saying. Until when they sent him the list of uh, councillors who are supposed to be part, uh, part of uh, the new uh, MMC uh, members in, in, in the city of Jobek. Then you look at it, it's like, wow, no, I think this is, this is too much. These guys, they did not have metric. How can you guys go and give this kind of position to this person as i said earlier on it might sound embarrassing for you to hear this but there is a something good about all this this is a way of uh, the lead of eff trying to send a strong message to uh, to everyone out there that i'm not here to build friendship with anyone i'm here to build a solid organization that will be a solution to the problems of our people and therefore we cannot be problems to society without education don't expect that you will be able to lead in the eff if you want to be part of the eff you must you should consider going to school already because now he had to ask again uh, the remains of all of them that guys on the 8th of uh, february um they will be closing the metric rewrite therefore i'm inviting you to go register uh, register yourself so that you'll be able to um to come back with the result of the metric result for next i mean in, in next year january and when you come with that result then we'll take it from there so right now obviously i believe that is kind of like a last warning is given to the EFF members just in case if they don't want to consider that and is very it was very uh, very clear in his message saying that don't come here and say that no we're the one who have started EFF and when it is about they have to take some uh, uh, MMC they are busy leaving us and taking someone else because according to him he says it's not because you sing good or you speak good within the EFF meeting, then you think that any available position, they should just give it to you like that. So, I don't know, honestly speaking, I really don't know how this message, uh, the EFF members, they have welcomed it. But it is just very important, guys, to keep in mind that having some kind of qualification is also good because when you you have joined politic and you want to do politic for the rest of your life well which means you want to become more po uh, popular which means you want to become a public representative therefore you need to lead by example we saw even the leadership of eff they did so they went to school and back then people they were surprised when they were seeing malema and his colleague uh, graduating they were all surprised so i believe this is something that uh, uh, maybe the eff members who are considering themselves that they'll be working in the public representative then they should start considering that already because they won't be aware that uh, you get to be in power and tomorrow people they start reminding you of the level uh, the level of the education that you had in your life so that is it guys but it was very interesting to get to see at least that the eff they had to come out and have this kind of courage to speak about this kind of matters because that is something that not everyone can do it trust me especially when it comes to uh politic politicians with political parties because your mission especially when you are in the opposition party your mission is to make sure that tomorrow you become in power 
So therefore, you're trying by all means to avoid any kind of uh, uh, something that will come and destroy your reputation, something that will affect your voters for them, from them not going to vote for you. You don't want even to be found guilty inside the magistrate courts. You don't want to have any things like, no, you have done this, you have done this. You know, you want to keep that your uh, reputation clear and good. So that already gave the EFF a chance for them to hide these things, these kind of things, not to talk about the education things on how they don't have metric or any kind of, you know, they should have keep quiet. But if they decide to come and speak out about it, I think whether we like it or not, but we should at least applaud them because they might end up becoming people who will lead us tomorrow. So it will be good in our advantage to have at least leaders who went to school because leading a nation is not a joke. Mm -hmm. It is not a joke. Thank you.